Hi, today I want to discuss with you the direct attack out of half shield against the first ward. In 133, on folio 11v, it is written, one might doubt how the scholar should attack the priest. And now, that the priest lays low, omits all defenses, informing the scholar who stands here, not varying in sword or shield, approaches more, i.e. soon he seizes a strike, as shown here by the images. As the priest takes this position, they're immediately told that if they do nothing, they're in a disadvantageous position as the student will initiate a strike over the top. So the strike could be a long edge cut from above, like an Oberhau, or maybe just even a thrust. Well, I got a few problems with that theory. First, it doesn't look like in 133. In 133, the thumb points up, the hand is inverted. More importantly, it's actually pretty hard to uh, hit a long edge strike on your opponent if he just raises his buckler a little bit. The buckler has a cone of defense and a direct strike actually has a hard time getting around. Even more importantly, we should consider what to do if the partner reacts late but still attacks us. If we go for a straight or a right Oberhau, our right side is pretty wide open, so actually our hand is pretty uh, susceptible to enemy attacks. If they instead attack our sword, so they parry our strike, we need to make a half turn on the wrist to perform a Durchtreten. Both of these techniques get quite a bit safer if we perform a slightly left Oberhau. Since our cross saves our hand and we only need to make like around a 90, 90 degree turn in our wrist uh, to perform the Durchtreten after the enemy parries our strike. Technique number one sees first ward omitting all actions. The second hypothesis by Roland von Secher and Cornelius Berthold solves the inverted hand problem by using a thumb grip. They utilize a false edge strike which is made uh, with the hand slightly to the left and the strike from straight above or slightly to the right. This way they are able to strike around the buckler if they just lift their hand a little bit and let the sword do the work from above. I like the strike quite a lot, but actually it has still some problems in this context. Due to uh, the angle between sword and your forearm, there is an, actually an opening on your right side, just like in the example before when you struck an Oberhau from the right side. So you could solve this problem by turning your buckler, but that is not actually um, described or shown in the manual. So you need to be aware of this opening. And it would be nice to not only rely on your buckler for your protection. The second problem is if they are again reacting late, but they try to parry your sword. If your strike comes slightly from the right, you might be still able to hit them since it's not unlike the Duplion and the Lichtenauer tradition. But if you don't get that strike, you're in a quite bad position because you need to make a 360 degree turn in your right forearm to cover yourself again. So that is quite slow. Okay, but what if uh, the end position shown in 133 is not unlike the right ox of the Lichtenauer tradition? There are actually a couple of ways to get there, but the first I want to discuss with you is a Sturzhau, an overthrown strike from the right. As you can see, the hand is still inverted, even without using a thumb grip. More importantly, it covers my right side. It has a follow-up of the thrust and it goes around the buckler. If you've done some reenactment with uh, sword and shield, you probably know the strike quite well where it falls into the family of the wrapping strikes. If they try to parry the blow, I might still be able to get in a thrust since I can use the strong of my blade. But if not, I don't have to turn my wrist at all to perform a Durchtreten. So I think this is a very effective technique and it fits quite well into uh, the manuscript 133 
at that section. I don't want to say that I uh, don't like a direct Oberhau or direct thrust or Roland's and Konir's Sturzhau. I very much like these strikes, but in this circumstance I like my overthrown strike from the right even more. I would very much like uh, to get into a discussion with you and I look forward to your comments. Thank you.